What's going on guys? This is Chris, back with another video. Hey, we got a special guest, Ryan. How you doing? Old Town Kayaks. He's going to walk us through the new Sportsman series. Well, he's not going to walk us through, but he's going to give us three key features that he thinks are the best features on this boat. And then I'm going to walk you guys through the rest of the boat and tell you what I think about it. So, what do we got here, Ryan? We got the Sportsman 120, right? The Sportsman Autopilot 120 by Old Town. Yep. Okay. So, what are the three best features that you think on this boat? make it the best kayak on the market. That's really hard. I mean, this thing is packed to the nines. We worked with our tournament anglers, mm -hmm. um, focus groups, people that are serious anglers that are demanding the best. And so this, we jam-packed this thing full of awesome features. So it's really hard to pick three, but if I had, if I was forced to pick just, three. Just three. The motor, it's seamlessly integrated. It's a 45 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor that's saltwater ready and it's fully integrated into the boat experience. We worked with the Minn Kota uh, engineers since we're owned by the same company. Yeah. We designed, yeah. If you guys didn't know, Old Town, Minn Kota, they're sister companies, so they work together. So you're not getting like a third party motor where, you know, your things can go wrong and things of that nature. Right. Where uh, hiccups, I guess you could say, where you're like, man, it's not seamless, right. it's not perfect. So they specifically made this boat perfect to and work it's, together. It's seamless not only in the integration of the product, but let's say, you encounter an issue or you need to order a part, you call us up. That's like, we have the answer. I mean, we, we are that close. We're not sending you to some, another company or uh, sending you away. We're able to service you full service, uh, not only with the experience of the boat, but with our customer service. And that, that's huge, guys, especially nowadays. You know, when you call a company to try and resolve an issue and you get a foreign you know, call center and you can't get anywhere, Old Town, Minn Kota, they're going to help you out. Right. The motor is seamlessly integrated, but it has a GPS uh, chip in it that allows it to remote anchor anywhere. So if you're in rough water, big water, uh, fishing current, fishing on a windy day, and you're struggling to maintain your position, hit that spot lock button and the boat takes over and just holds you there. And you can fish until you're done or rig your rods or land a fish. So that's a really nice feature in that seamless integration. We're operating with the iPilot remote. Um, and we, we worked with Minn Kota. This is Minn Kota's iPilot remote, but we, we custom designed this for kayak angling. So we took the, uh, the jackrabbit off of it, so you're not having to worry about going from zero to speed 10. Um, but we also um, created the, the, the shape of the buttons in a way that you can, you can find home row without having to look. So while you're standing and fishing and making your casts, you can reach down for that remote and know exactly where your thumb belongs. So you're, you're commanding this kayak without having to look at the remote. With, the, with just your hand, with just your, your thumb. So you're able to operate this boat, spot lock, autopilot. So if you want to go across the lake, you hit that that N arrow button, which is the autopilot button, and that will maintain your course and your speed until you tell it to do otherwise. So the motor is, my, my, you know, I think the top feature in this boat. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Oh, hey. I didn't even know this, guys. They took the bunny rabbit off the remote. I'm going to have to test that out on Josh's kayak, let you know what I think, because my dad has a Minn Kota, yep. and I love the bunny rabbit because I can't go zero to ten right away. So we'll see. I'll test Josh's boat and let you guys know what for I think. Our, about for, our, for our application, we call it the bad bunny. The bad bunny. That's what you guys call it. <laughs> All right, so the trolling motor is a game changer. I'm telling you what, in the Tampa Bay, have you ever caught a tarpon? Uh, I have. All right, so Ryan, Ryan knows what's up. In the Tampa Bay, we got a great tarpon fishery. You can set that uh, iPilot, lock you in place, put your baits out, play on your phone until you get a bite. So For sure. Uh, that's yep. going to be awesome. Yep. Yeah. So, so what, what's the next feature that you want to get? I think the next feature, honestly, is the layout of the, uh, the deck. So as you're sitting in the seat, you've got pocketing up the sides. you got a place to, to store your... Uh, your catch tray so if, if you're uh, fishing a tournament you get a hog trough for catch tray you've got a nice nest place to nest it that's a that's an issue for a lot of tournament anglers it's like where do i put this thing it's sticking out and they have to find a way to fabricate their kayak to to store it cleanly we found that out we, we figured that out we talked to a bunch of anglers and we designed that into the layout it's got padded floors in the cockpit it's like, it's like a dance floor you get so much space up in front of you that you can walk it almost like the bow end of a bass boat so my second feature is the, the layout of the deck okay so just the fun the layout the functionality, functionality how, how comfortable it of is what's in front of you yeah, yeah i got you i got you all right so give me the third and final one and then guys i'm gonna walk over everything so we're not taking too much of ryan's time give us your third best 
best feature on this boat? Third best feature, well, it's hard. I'm gonna do a third. Flip a coin, flip a coin. With an asterisk, you know, because I think the, the third is honestly the stern tank well for me. You've got okay. so much space out back that you can carry a cooler. So if you're going to fish Tampa Bay and you needed to keep bait on ice or if you wanted to keep your catch on ice or you wanted to keep your beer on ice, whatever, if you've got space for a full-size cooler as well as all your tackle and gear that you need. You got 18-inch accessory tracks behind you for additional rod holders, lighting. It's huge. It's back huge. There. It's, it's huge. huge. Back there. Josh, go ahead, show them that really quick. It is absolutely huge back here. You, you can literally fit like two coolers, so you do have room for your beer and your bait at the same time. And if I was given a bonus, I, I was just about to say, give us an honorable mention. Is the fact that we make this thing in Maine and it has a lifetime hull warranty? Okay. And um, you know we've got 122 very dedicated people that work in our factory that awesome. are producing these. Awesome. Um, and uh, we back it with a lifetime hull, hull warranty, and you got the, the, the standard Minn Kota two-year warranty on the drive. So uh, okay. we got a phenomenal warranty and customer service department, and uh, we back our product. So I'd have to say that'd be my. Fourth. Your fourth and honorable mention. Hey, we'll take it, guys, because as you know, working for Salty Scales, we take customer service number one. You you need to take care of your customers when you're in business, and Old Town does do that. Lifetime warranty, so any crack or any you know mis malfunction you're gonna have with the hull, yeah. you guys will send another boat out. Right Absolutely, away. Yep. that's awesome. So hey, we're gonna have to test that uh, Minn Kota, test it out in the salt water elements, because as you know, salt water it eats it up. So. Hey, I appreciate Ryan's time. You guys go check out Old Town. Links in the description box below. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, walk through this kayak some more. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so now that Ryan is out of the frame, we're gonna go ahead and walk through this Sportsman 120 autopilot really quick. I'm gonna make it real quick, go over some key features that I like, and uh, we'll send you on your way. Walk over here, Don. So starting at the front of the boat, just like Ryan said, the best feature on this boat is this bad boy right here. The Minn Kota trolling motor, spa lock, the technology, it's fast, it's quick, it's easy. It's easy to store, it's easy to get out of the actual boat itself. Old Town really has thought a lot about this system. And I was talking to Ryan and he's, I asked him, why can't you put a pedal drive and a trolling motor in the same boat? And he said because they wanted to perfect the trolling motor aspect of it. And I think they have. I'd love to test it. Probably get on Josh's boat, test it out a little bit. I'll come jump back in here. Actually, I'm gonna jump in it. Hey, this is the first time I'm getting in the boat. Dude. This is sick, guys. First time I've been in the boat. It's huge. Like on the inside, there's so much room inside this hull. You could put anything and everything inside of this. Your trolling motor's out of your way. You can make casts. You can put your rod here. You got your board right here that he was talking about. It's super flush with the boat. It's out of your way. This is what the boat comes with. This is the most important thing. You're always going to want to have this on you. You get. What is this? Okay, so you got your safety over here, your kill switch. So obviously in a motorized boat, just in case you fall off, you got your kill switch, you can probably hook it up to your ankle, your waist, and uh, if you fall out, it's gonna kill the motor. You're gonna be able to get back. Another cool thing about this trolling motor is you can actually steer with these uh, foot rests right here. Whenever I was looking at this boat, I was I was concerned because you'd always have to, you know, be maneuvering the trolling motor with your hand. And when you're trying to fish, that can be a challenge. But guys, they've thought about this. You can actually steer the boat with these feet rest. That's an awesome feature. Shows the deployment. Well, let's see. All right, guys, so I just tried the deployment for the first time. I'm telling you, Old Town's thought about it all. Check this out. First of all, it's locked into place, so you're not having to worry about your trolling motor popping out while you're riding. But all you gotta do is release it, and then it literally goes up by itself. Like, I am doing nothing to that. I pull it back in, there's no weight on, on that, it's very easy. You lock it back, and you are ready to fish, or ready to head to your fishing location. That's freaking crazy. Check out that, guys. You got your tackle box, you can store multiple oh, yeah. planos right up and sit it upright if you have like three okay yeah so 
if you're out there fishing, you don't have to reach behind you. One of my biggest pet peeves, Josh gives me hell about it all the time, is I got a big, you know, tackle box in the back there, and I gotta reach behind me, I gotta bend and twist, throw my back out at my uh, young age. So you can keep your planos right next to you, easy access. And then, moving back to the back of the boat, you got so much room back here, just like Ryan was saying, you could literally fit two coolers. I don't even know. You could fit probably two coolers, a, a mini radio, your 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 extra Plano boxes. Literally anything and everything can go back here, and you're gonna be ready for the water. So another thing Old Town's thought about is obviously you might not want to use the trolling motor every time. But you can carry, you're, you don't have to keep this in your storage hatches, it's not taking up room, it is flush. You, you don't even notice it whatsoever. You can just pop it out and then replace your trolling motor. You're ready to paddle, super functional. And when you're done, you put it back and you leave it there. You're, you're not gonna have to worry about it being in your way. You got tracks back here. You can put all type of accessories, some more rod holders if you want. Uh, anything that will go on a track, you can put there a GoPro mount. So if you're a YouTuber or you just like to film your adventures, put a GoPro mount up here, get a pole, film your, uh, your adventure. And then back here, check out this rudder. You can steer with your, your feet as well, so you don't always have to be using the trolling motor. And this is how you're doing that. Your feet pedal or your feet rest up there are controlling the rudder, so you can set your trolling motor to go straight as fast as you want, be playing on your phone, and you don't even have to touch that remote. You just use your feet to go right or left. It's freaking awesome. I do like to kayak. There's a million things you could say about this boat. I would love to test one. I can't wait to get on Josh's and, uh, you know, steal it from him. Maybe catch a fish off it. Probably the first fish. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, make sure you subscribe to the page for more. Hit that like button like always. Comment down below. Alright guys, peace.